Hey, it's our friend student here, and today I'm going to showcase the J Phoenix buttons. So, firstly, I will just have my program running where I have two different button types where I have the raised buttons and I have a flat button. Our raised buttons at the top have this darker shadow around to make them look raised, and the buttons just have nothing. So, that's pretty much the main attribute we add using J Phoenix to make them look a bit better. Then personally added some color, where the middle button, as you might see, you have this pretty nice gradient as well. So how is the setup? Inside Scene Builder, I'm just very simply using the J Phoenix components. Then in the, our buttons, our very first custom attribute is, rather not is raised or flat. And just very simply, I just added some text, changed the text color to white in this case. And I am then using a CSS style sheet, kinda, where I have my button class, button 1, button 2, button 3 with different colors, and my button 2 with the gradient from to button left, so diagonal between these colors. And they just very simply is the setup. So JFurnish just allows us to have some buttons that look a bit better than we just show a normal button this one which looks a bit clunky because it looks like it have an extra layer and kind of looks like an old school button where these are a bit more modern and simple it's just for fun add some style sheet to this one as well as you can see it looked pretty similar but i prefer the look of the jphoenix buttons and of course using css we can make the other buttons smallest look like the jphoenix buttons but this allows us to very quickly create a better looking button. So if you enjoyed this short showcase of the J Phoenix components, in this case the button, please leave a like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.